Hi everyone. What I've got here is my AstroTac AT66, 66mm, 400mm focal length refractor. And it's great for doing wide field imaging. But at 400mm and at the weight, even though this is quite light, it's still quite a lot for people to set up and to use. Now, for a long time, I've just been using a standard camera lens. I've used Samyang uh, 135mm f2, I've used the 85mm, I've used the 100mm f2.8. But I've got a hold of this. This is the Nascare FMA 180. As you can see on my little XE3 mirrorless camera, it's quite small, it's quite light, it's designed for astrophotography and it's 100 mil 180 millimeters f4.5 and it comes with its own um, flat field reducer so without the reducer it's 220 millimeters f5.5 with the reducer it's 180 millimeters f4.5 and it gives it a flat field and it's lighter than most camera lenses it's slightly smaller has a 40 mil objective on it so it's about the size really of a guide scope. In fact, it could be used as a guide scope. And when you buy it, you do get some extension tubes which you can use with it. And one of the extension tubes can be used to turn this into a guide scope camera. It has a nice focuser on it, which is very smooth, very tight, and can be locked with a screw. Comes complete with this, for the, with the rings and an Arca Swiss compatible plate, which as you can see on here, I've got the saddle for my iOptron Skyguider Pro. The thread for the cap on the objective here is the same thread as a two inch filter. So if you want to use your light pollution reduction filters for your two in from your two inch collection or maybe an H alpha filter. You could of course set this up and use this with a proper imaging camera and get some wide field images. You say WO, Altair Astro camera, something like that. That will work fine with this and you can even screw those filters onto the end here so that you can use it for narrow band imaging. The downside is you're attaching them to the end here so you want to use a heater, heater strap to make sure that the glass of the filter doesn't get dewed up and misty but it's a nice nice lightweight combination the lens itself is about 345 grams so it's very light and with this little mirrorless body the whole thing weighs barely more than a kilo so it sits on the star tracker very nicely and the advantage of that is i can get wide field vistas of deep sky objects without having to overload or having to put too much strain on my star tracker so you don't even need a meaty star tracker like the sky guider pro this setup would fit fine on uh, sky uh, i opt on star tracker or even on the um, sky watcher star adventurer mini and it goes rather well so let's have a closer look the asker fm180 is a triplet air spaced apo refractor which includes two pieces of ED, extra low dispersion glass, and provides excellent correction of chromatic aberration. Now the optics within this lens produce a flatter image with good clarity. Now the Ascair FMA 180 has a reducer included in the box, and that has a doublet spaced optical design, combined with an objective lens for crisper images. It's all optimized for astrophotography. The focal reducer will help re reduce aberrations that can appear when photographing. As well as using it as an imaging lens, it's also suitable to be used as a high performance finder guidoscope, which can go onto your telescope. The overall tube length is 145 millimeters. Now, as you can see, I've got the lens mounted on my Fujifilm XE3 and on a Skyguider Pro from my Optron. And because this lens is so light, I've had to push the counterbalance weight right up 
to balance the entire rig. So I can now manage to get reasonable balance. But because this lens is so light, you have to make sure that you're able to balance it on your star tracker. Now I'd like to use the Fujifilm X-series cameras as an unmodified camera for deep space work. I find their X-Trans sensors to be really good when it comes to picking up hydrogen alpha emission lines. And just like this, it makes the entire setup portable and quite light to carry. I can carry all of this, except the tripod of course, in a rucksack and take it to a dark sky location so I can throw everything in my car and I'm ready to go. And this is a lot quicker and a lot easier to set up than trying to attach a large AM camera lens and the quality of this lens at 180 mil for what it costs is actually very good. Now the nearest lens to this I can think of that's comparable would be the Samyang 135 mil and that's an f2 lens and that is a fantastic lens but this is really designed for deep space astrograph so this is a flat field easy to use astrophotography camera lens